I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Legend of Dark Witch 2. You might have seen my Let's Play of the first game. This game is significantly more polished and all around a lot better game. Uh, in fact, since this game is on PC, uh, this game's on PC and 3DS, um, I would recommend that you um, play this game before the other one, because the other one's a lot harder and less polished and just harder to get into in general. Um, one note, the PC version is not just a straight port exactly. Um, it has a new character who is the secret character from the first game. Um, it also still has all the stuff from the first game. Um, we're just going to play a plain old lunatic mode um, game. And we're going to start with Liddy. Who is not wearing very many clothes. And you'll see why in her boss <laughs> sketch, actually. Uh, it's actually pretty funny. Um, but yeah, if you're not familiar, this is a Mega Man, a classic Mega Man style uh, platformer with a Gradius uh, sort of bar for powering up your stuff. Uh, it also has ledge forgiveness, which most good platformers will have some degree of ledge forgiveness. That's when you walk over a ledge and you can still jump. Um, and this one you have until right around, ugh, that was a really bad time to try and practice that. Um, Great music in this game, too, uh, just like the first one. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's. Oh, dang it. Let's kill these. Oh, those are below me. Okay, that's bad. Okay, okay. No, there we go. Alright, so, like that. You can sort of walk off a ledge and jump. Um, important thing for a nice, tight platformer, in my opinion. You can totally design a platformer not around that, but, uh,. Yeah, so the way this game works is it's a lot like Mega Man, and then you also have the Gradius meter, and every time you beat an enemy, um, it fills up that... Ugh. See, this is where you need that uh, little extra jump, or extra distance on your jump. And so there's a bunch of... Um, every enemy has largely unique... Like, there's not... Everything isn't totally unique, but there's a lot of nice variety between enemies between the stages. And um, early on, we're not going to be using this Gradius meter too much, unfortunately. So we don't won't have. Um, eventually, we'll be moving really fast. We'll have really strong shots. Um, they'll cover a lot of the screen, like you can see now. I have. Uh, I can shoot a little bit down, a little bit forward. Uh, unfortunately, there's a. Um, those big gems are called Pura Siega. Um, don't worry about the name too much. They. Uh, they're basically a second currency that lets us purchase some of the more important upgrades, not second currency in terms of like free to play stuff. You know, there's no deal, there's no, you know, microtransactions in this game. It's just certain stuff you can only upgrade with those, and so it's kind of a little Easter egg hunt to find those in the levels. Certain things you're probably not going to find first playthrough of a level. Uh, a few things require certain um, abilities. Um, the very first. Uh oh. The very first one in this level actually requires, um, with this character anyway, requires you use your revenge skill. And to use that you have to get hit a lot, and I haven't gotten hit at all, so obviously I couldn't get it. And uh, I have a little guide on my site, not little, a fairly complete guide on my site, um, if you're having trouble with this game or trying to figure out all the secrets. Um, so you can go find that, there'll be a link to the description there. Alright, so the bosses have these cute little skits. Um, it's, like I said, a lot like a Mega Man sort of thing. Um, sort of like a Mega Man crossed with a cute em up um, And just like a cute em up everyone fights for no reason. You there, the one spacing out. Yeah, you. You're Lady the Researcher, right? Huh? Uh... Alright, oh, there is actually that voicing, which is pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, Liddy doesn't like clothes. Is it weird? Uh, this is awkward. Like, do I read the text or do I just let them voice and you read? I don't want to double read, so just just read the text if you want, I guess, and I'll just let them talk. <laughs> 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 
Look at the little fang in her mouth. Zizo likes to yell at everybody. Zizo is our character. Um, there's actually a little intro of the story. Um, basically, Zizo is God, literally God, and um, humans are doing bad things with Siega, which are these like magic crystals. And um, like this one particular empire is doing all kinds of extra bad things. So we have to beat up a bunch of researchers, aka robot masters, and you know, get the uh, stuff back. Because, come on, humans, cut it out. Liddy's one of my favorites. So we're playing on Lunatic Difficulty, which do not play your first game on Lunatic Difficulty. Um, Lunatic in this game is a lot more balanced than uh, the first game, but um, you can probably bump your way through, but then... The uh, the boss rush is a real frickin' uh, high bar in lunatic mode. Because, you know, it's a standard boss rush, and it means... I think a lot of people don't quite get the point of boss rushes in Mega Man. Um, in Mega Man games, the, the real goal is to be able to take down bosses and, like, be able to dodge every one of their attacks, and, you know, maybe you'll only take a hit or two. Um... Mega Man ZX Advent had uh, a really good hard mode where um, it's actually focused all around... Oh. <laughs> I love her little happy smile when she actually hits you, so I'm glad that happened. Um, but, uh... See, so yeah, once their health gets out, gets to yellow, they will add new abilities. Uh, she clones herself. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. You can defeat her clone, but it's a lot harder in this. Oh, that's not good. Um, we do have revenge attack now, though. I also for went, um, there is... When you beat the game, you can spend these extra tokens, um, on, you know, new game plus features, so you can have, like, extra attack power and stuff. That's probably how you're gonna want to attack, do lunatic mode your first playthrough, because uh, it'll be a lot more manageable. I have beaten this game every difficulty, every like possible way, many times on 3DS, so I'm not going to have too much trouble here. Uh, it is going to be a little slow at the very start, because I don't have my upgrades and stuff, and I don't have any special powers. Liddy, I tend to pick Liddy first. A few bosses in this game, this game does function on the Mega Man difficulty thing, where um, everybody has a weakness. Liddy's is not particularly significant, so I tend to go for Liddy first just because um, if I had her weak thing, it wouldn't drastically change how I fight her. Um, I'd be able to take down her clone really quick, which is nice, but that's only a small fragment of the battle. That is the hardest one, of course. Um, these battles go a lot faster in easier modes. In fact, in casual, they like blaze through, assuming you're fully powered. It's, it's kind of too much, but I would recommend, if you've never played Mega Man before, I would go, um, oh, frick, I would go on casual probably first, casual is the, um, second to easiest. No, frick. Oh, and like you saw there, you can, with the proper timing, you can block attacks. Okay. Fortunately, her clone does not copy the uh, revenge attack or whatever. The desperation attack, I guess you'd call it. Ah, oh, frick! Right, so I'm used to having a little bit more power. So in this game, you can spend those butterflies we're getting 
on things to add more attack power, to add more um, add more abilities. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I don't. This is a game where you can grind to get better, unlike most Mega Man things. Um, well, I guess you can sort of grind to an extent on other things. If I die this time, I'm gonna go and grind just a teeny bit, or actually mostly just spend the stuff I already have. Um, you you totally don't have to play it on the hardest difficulty. I just kind of want to show it off because there, there's some really cool stuff in terms of the boss design. I really feel like the game was designed on Lunatic, and then they nerfed things down for the other difficulties. Um, but the other difficulties are really good because what the other difficulties have, like on the very easiest difficulty, there's a bunch of added platforms they have. Um, actually, what am I doing? I should be using the meteor shot. Does a little bit more damage. And I don't need any of the... Meteor Shot's actually really good. It shoots faster, and it does a bit more damage. But the way I have things set up, it'll cost a little bit more energy. But it doesn't really matter, because she's the only enemy on screen. Also, you'll notice my meter is automatically being spent. Like, it, it uses the first two speed-ups and stuff like that. And, um... You can change how that works. Uh, I tend to leave it on semi-auto for Zizu, and I leave it at uh, purely manual for the uh, other character. Uh oh, so this is what I was talking about. It, it does cost a lot to cast this, so you want to spam just a little bit less. But as you can see, we're doing more damage. I was being stupid and using liner shot. Uh, liner shot is kind of the basic one, but you don't really. Afric. You'd use it. I think the gray one you can actually go through. When I'm totally into things, I can use the block properly, but. Uh oh. I don't know how I didn't take damage there. Fortunately, her clone doesn't use that illusion shot, because that's the hardest part. Okay, I think we're going to do all right here. Okay, 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 we're good. Please. Wow, I'm surprised. I... Uh-oh. Oh gosh, no! No, no! Yes, okay. That was, that was pretty close. Okay, I... I'm used to being able to defeat her clone. I guess... Little belly shot there. Uh, I'm used to being able to defeat her clone. Um, I'm not really used to the current way everything is. I usually play with those bonuses on, so it's a little different from how I'm used to, but I'm still confident I can beat the game on, um, on this mode. Also, unlike Mega Man boss rushes, you'll have like significantly more power once you actually get to the boss thing. Also, let's just show off our bosses here. So we have Ika, the Mathematic Researcher. Everyone is a researcher, by the way. We, we, we just really hate science. Um, Kiwito, who's a military researcher. Clinzy, who might seem familiar if you played the first game. Uh, she's a hemisphere researcher, which I, I don't think that's a thing, but whatever, Clinzy. You know, your, your doctorate is totally not fake, it's fine. Herbert, who's an alchemist, and she she's probably my favorite. She, uh, well, lots of good characters in this game, but uh, I really like Herbert, because she looks like an old-school Mega Man character. Um, there's Mari, who is an alcoholic and has a dual disc, and she's pretty great. There's Erkin, who is the time researcher, and she's got a big freaking axe and slows down time, and she's very good. There's Liddy, who's the psychic researcher and does not like clothes. And there's Rudy, who is a nerve researcher, which, again, not really sure that's a thing, but whatever. She's got cat ears, so we will let that slide. Also, after you beat a boss, you get a... You get these little cute chats with them. So are you being friendly with the fae? Oh yeah, fairies are real in this, and um, they beat up dragons and, you know, fairy things. Oh, she's here to help my research. Not that I need her. Are the fae hiring you? I don't know. <laughs> Liddy doesn't... Oh, wait. Is there a voice? No, I don't think there is. Don't you feel like you should know? Not if I get paid normally. I just want to live a life like a wreck loose. Liddy is so good. Look at her face. But they summon me now and then. I suppose you find that bothersome. No, I just find it a waste of time. Although, wasting time out might be what all things do. Anyway, out. Okay, okay. Liddy is basically me. Except I'm not a naked mummy person. 
as far as you know, anyway. So this is the shop. Oh dang, we did end up going to about 15 minutes. I, I wasn't expecting to fight the boss three times, but hey, we did it. Um, so once you have the butterflies, the trez, um, you can go in here, and the shop is actually pretty complicated this time. It's a little, it's more complex than the first game. Um, there's two shops. Bal shop is kind of cheating-ish, um, but Papaline's shop is pretty necessary. So Al's shop, you can use items like heal yourself. Um, I think that basically means if you fall into a pit, it lets you come back from falling into a pit. This actually is necessary for a certain, um, getting a certain one of the Pura Sega, which is that big gem at the top left there. Um, it helps you for some platforming stuff, and there's a few, there's a few things that are harder to get without it, and possibly impossible. Uh, this will let you auto block, and that helps you find the Pura Siega, which uh, is useful if you're playing on your own. But uh, if you look them up in a guide, it's uh, easier. And if you get a game over, you can actually get these forbidden skills, which are like double the amount of cash that you get, um, do way more damage. Invincibility is the last one. Every time you game over, you unlock a, n a new one, and you can use them for free, but if you do that, basically your run doesn't count. You can't get achievements, you don't get the clear bonus, because you're, you know, basically straight up cheating. Um, but if you're just having insane amounts of troubles with the game, um, that's always available to you. The game also has a little pity, and if you get game over, you get five of the, uh, the uh, post-game cash things. So what else can we do? We can also grow status, customize slot. So technical skills are what the um, boss powers are. We got illusion shot from Liddy, and we can power it up to pierce enemies, or I think it just increases the damage and reduces their cost. Um, this isn't this menu. It's not too essential. Um, some of the buffs for technical skills are nice, but they're pretty expensive. Like they each cost three thousand, which is a fair amount. Um, so you don't want to do that too much. Um, you can also level up your slots, which are, you know, your Gradius things. You can have, you can change your slots. You can add Express, which is just a faster version of Speed. Not really sure why that is a thing. Dash is not very useful that I found. Um, that replaces your floaty jump. I prefer having the, you know, the glide. Um, Punish is, that's the attack that, um, the secret character has in the first game, you know, it's a charge up, piercing attack, not very, not very good. Um, the one that is really good here is guard. That means if you fully fill your meter, you can take a hit for totally free, uh, which is pretty nice. You can change your order here. I actually tend to prefer comet, so I put it in slot three. Slot three costs less than slot four. Um, yeah, you get to customize what your upgrades are, basically, and, uh, also, I really like the, the the art came over really well. Like, I guess they must have like already had the art like HD quality, but playing 1080p looks really good. Oh frick, I'm recording in 720p, aren't I? I'll fix that for the next video. It won't, you know, the game is mostly pixels, but I'll still fix that next time. Um, but yeah, you can also you can increase your revenge shot. You can reduce the amount of trez, you know, your meter drop when you take a hit. What you mostly want is just buy more trez because that means more money, that means more of your meter fills, that means just more of everything basically. You just want to spend a lot of money onto this before worrying about anything else because as you'll see the next time we go through, we will be filling that meter at the bottom way faster this time. Um and we next time we will go ahead and fight Mary because we have her weakness, and yeah, it, it has a you know a boss order so to speak because of the whole Mega Man weaknesses thing. Uh, it's not super important, but uh, certain bosses can be like majorly stun locked. It's actually kind of excessive, but uh, less so in um, in lunatic mode. Anyway, next time.